In this video, we're going to review some Pillaway Latex Mess Free Tape for your nails. Hi everyone, welcome back to Just Doing Nails. And the product I'm going to review today is called Queen. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. I got it off of Amazon and I'm going to leave the link for this product in the description below. It's latex tape you put around your nail so you can avoid a mess. What you do is you'll apply it, you'll do your nail art or nail polish, and then you'll just peel it away after you apply whatever type of art you want to your nails. On the back of the box here, they have an allergy alert. It is very important that you do not use this product if you're allergic to latex. I cannot stress that enough. We do not want to mess with allergies. It's a life or death situation in some cases. And it also says how to use the product and to also shake well before use and keep out of reach of children. And there's a couple of other warnings down there below. Make sure you guys read your instructions very well, whatever product you're using. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. Here is the bottle. This is how it's gonna look, very cute. And then again, also it has that how to use on the side of the bottle. And it's also going to have that warning for you again, just in case you lose the box or whatever, that warning is on that bottle as well. So first we're going to go ahead and shake it up like it says. And so you can hear the metal ball shaking around in there as you would hear a normal nail polish. It's just going to help shake up and get everything mixed up. All right, it looks pretty mixed to me. So I'm going to go ahead and look at my swatches here and see what color I want. I did do a video for these swatches and this nail polish. It'll be up there in the right hand corner if you guys want to check that video out. So here are my nails I'm going to start off with. I have prepped them and everything and I'm going to be painting onto my right hand since my left hand is my non-dominant hand. And what that'll do is it'll help me be a little bit messier like I usually am when I'm using my left hand and we can test this product out a little bit better. When applying this, you just kind of have to figure out the best way you can apply it to your skin um, around your nail. For me, I start kind of in the middle on one side and then I go to the middle of the other side and I bring this product around towards the front. I don't know if that makes any sense, but if you just look at it while I'm doing it, you'll kind of see um, how I decided to apply this. And I did do this pinky nail in real time, just so you guys can kind of see. All right, so there it is applied. And that's the color it's gonna look when you first apply it. So like I said, I start in the middle of my finger and then I go around to the other side, start from the middle and bring it all the way towards the top of my finger. That just helped me really apply this a little bit better. The one thing about applying this is you do have to be careful as if you were applying normal nail polish um, just to make sure you get it just on the skin and not on your actual nail. I think this is a good product. If your little one wanted to paint your nails, you could put this on and then you could just let them be as creative as they wanted to. All right, I want to take this time to remind you guys to subscribe to Just Doing Nails if you haven't by now. Also, remember to hit that like button. Hitting that like button is going to help YouTube recommend my videos, which will in turn get me more subs and help my channel grow. I would really appreciate it. Here's how it's going to look when it's dry and actually depends on your skin tone, how the color is going to look, if it's going to look more clear, more pink. Um, that just all depends but I'm pretty sure you'll know when it's dry. So today I'm gonna test this product out with some gel nail polish. And this color is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So I am purposely being, well, I don't know about purposely because I do get a little messy uh, painting my right hand, but especially towards the third one, I really started to get messy just so I can review this product even a little bit better. 
I wanted to make sure I got some on my skin area and definitely on that latex tape so that way when I peel it off you guys can get that good idea of how that looks so I want to say I am definitely not a nail tech professional I just love to do my nails and I love reviewing nail products I like to see what's new out there I like to see nail hacks I like to try nail hacks so that's just a quick disclaimer there for you guys so here it is I think I've made a fine mess of it and we are gonna go ahead and cure it now this nail lamp I did a review video on and you can go ahead and check it out right there in the upper right hand corner if you're looking for a nice nail lamp this one is really great it has very high wattage you can do poly gels on it and everything so go ahead and check that out if you guys are looking for one so it's nice and dry all right we are ready to test it out is it gonna hold up is it gonna live up to the expectation the suspense <laughs> all right so we're getting it peeled almost there almost all right well that was very anticlimactic <laughs> and as you guys can see there's definitely still some stuff around um, the latex tape did not separate it and I don't know if it's because it's gel polish um, and gel polish is stronger so maybe it's staying together better than normal polish would so this next one here, you guys, I went ahead and rolled off and it came off much easier when I rolled it. So maybe you'll get better results if you use that rolling technique that I just used when taking off this tape. Because this one definitely looks better than that first one. The first one looks a hot mess. I mean, I just got to say. There's a little piece over here that it didn't get. Um, you can go ahead and just rub that off, take that off easily. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a close-up. So you see that first one compared to the second one I did. That first one didn't come out really great. But like I said, it could be because it's gel polish. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the rest of these off, um, peel them off. So this consistency when you're taking this off your nail, um, off your skin actually, it actually feel, feels really good. It, it reminds me of, you know, when you're like in grade school or middle school. I don't know. if I don't know who's ever done it before, but like you put the glue on your hands and then you slowly peel it off and it just gives you this sensation that is just satisfying and relaxing. I don't know why that is, but it is. And this is essentially glue, latex glue type stuff. And it gives you that same feeling. So I enjoyed that part of it. <laughs> all right. So I just went ahead and rolled all the rest of these off. And this is how they look. You guys will have to excuse the bumpiness of the nail polish. I did not prep my fingernails right this time. I didn't buff them. So that's why it looks a little rough. Other than that, um... I think this stuff works I would have to say that I would recommend it um, maybe next time if I put the polish on a little thinner and then take it off you know it might help so but not too bad all in all well that is my video you guys um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it helpful I hope you found it informative and if you did find it informative go ahead and leave me a comment below tell me what you like tell me what you didn't like tell me if you would use this product or if you have and if you're not a subscriber don't forget to subscribe on your way out to my next video or wherever you're headed thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time